Welcome to Workspace 365. My name is Laurens Holtkamp, Cloud Support Engineer at New Day at Work. Today we take a closer look at the Azure app. The Azure app allows you to create single sign-on to web apps. This way users don't have to remember 20 passwords. They can simply access all their apps after filling in their credentials once. There are two steps required to add an Azure app into Workspace 365. Part 1. Create Azure app in Azure. First, let's take a look in Azure. Log in to the Azure portal manage.windowsazure.com. Go to Active Directory and select the directory. Click on the Applications tab and on the bottom click Add. Here you have three options. Choose Add an application from the gallery. Search the desired app. For now we search WordPress. Fill in a display name and click Done. Now the app is created. There are two more steps to finish the configuration. First click Configure Single Sign-On. Select Password Single Sign-On. Now click Assign Accounts. To enable usage of the app, assign users to this app. When you select the user and click Assign, you will be prompted if you want to enter credentials for the user. For now, we leave this option unchecked. As last, you need to go to the dashboard of the app. Copy the single sign-on URL. Now you are done with configuring the Azure app in Azure. Part 2. Create Azure App in Workspace 365. To add the app in Workspace, we need to take a look in App Management. Click on Options menu and Settings. Choose App Management on the left. Click in the action bar the down arrow next to Add Shortcut and click Add Azure App. If you want to make the app available so admins or users can add them to the workspace, select the Enable App checkbox. To change the color of the icon, just choose the desired color from the color picker. You can also change the icon. Hover over the icon and click Edit Icon. Give the app a name. Paste the application ID retrieved from the single sign-on URL from Azure. Now your app is almost ready to use. After you are done with the configuration, click Done on the action bar. You can add the app to your dashboard. Go back to your dashboard and click Add New Apps. Select the desired app and add it to the workspace. Click Done when you're ready with configuring the app and add it to the dashboard.
The first time the Azure app is opened, Azure prompt to fill in your credentials. If you entered the wrong credentials, you will be redirected with the wrong credentials to the corresponding app. To change these credentials, click Edit your workspace and Edit app. Here you can change the credentials by pressing Change app credentials and you can fill in the new app credentials. If you want to push the app to the user's dashboard, be sure to place it in a shared app group. Set up permissions and log in with another user that has the permissions for the shared group and the Azure app. Users can't edit apps in shared app groups. To change the credentials, edit your workspace and click the key icon on the top right. Here you will be prompted to fill in new credentials. If you have any questions, please visit our support portal.